You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit LearnToCatchCatfish.com. Now, here's your host, Chad Ferguson. This is Chad Ferguson, LearnToCatchCatfish.com. We're going to talk a little bit today about learning to cast with a bait casting reel. Covered a lot of information on the website about um, setting up a bait cast reel, setting the spool tensioner, um, how to spool a line on a reel, all those different kind of basic information on bait casting reels. Going to bring all that stuff together with the process of learning to cast. If you use spin casting reels, spinning reels, and you're going to get serious about catfishing, sooner or later you're going to find that you need to get into bait casting reels. Have a whole article on the website about choosing a bait casting reel for fishing for catfish. There's a lot of options out there. Uh, I prefer the reels in the Abu Garcia 6000 series, like Abu Garcia 6500C3, um, 6600CB. There's a ton of them out there. Good all-round fishing reel for catfish, whether it's big catfish, um, box fish, you name it, it's a good all-round reel. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit just through some of the basic steps to learning to cast with a bait casting reel. Hopefully save you a little bit of time and frustration and a lot of bird's nest. So let's go out here and I'll show you what we're going to do. Now I've covered a lot of this on Learn to Catch Catfish. Um, just getting started with casting a bait casting reel, some of the basic things that you want to do. Um, I highly recommend that you start out with 30 pound test monofilament fishing line. The heavier pound test fishing line you use to learn to cast, the easier it's going to be to learn. The lighter pound test, the more backlashes you're going to deal with. So until you get a little bit of experience under your belt, buy you a cheap spool of 30 or even 40 pound test monofilament. I think 30 is kind of a good middle of the road place to start. 40 pound test line is pretty heavy. Get that heavy line, watch the article that we showed about spooling the line on a bait casting reel and the proper way to do it. Get you a good all round fishing rod and put you a weight on there. We have the article on the website about setting the spool tensioner, article about the drag here, what the drag is, what it does, how it needs to be set. Once you go through that whole process, then get you a weight on your fishing rod. The lighter weight that you use starting out, the easier it's going to be. So start, start with a smaller weight and work your way up until you get some practice and get a little more comfortable with it. Once you start with the process of trying to learn how to cast, just take baby steps. You can let it down to the, to the ground like this, reel it back up, just kind of get comfortable for the process of what it feels like the, with the line coming off that reel and when that line needs to stop. The process of a backlash occurs when the line moves faster this direction than it should on the reel. So basically the line goes this way and the, the uh, spool on the inside is going slower so the line doubles back onto the reel. To get started casting, I've got a big long Santee rig on here because I was too lazy and I didn't want to tie another rig and I would not suggest putting this on here. Just put a basic weight on there. And when you get started, you get a little bit comfortable with what that line feels like dropping down to the ground, keeping your thumb on that spool and getting a little bit comfortable with it. Once you do that, then start out just making some little short pitches. Start underhanded. Don't try to get too fancy throwing overhand with these big monstrous casts. Just start out with the basic little underhand pitch and trying to get the feel for what that's like. And then once you get that feel down, you can start throwing further and further 
and you'll get more comfortable with when that line needs to stop. And the part that you need to be in tune with is the part of when that line needs to stop and when you need to thumb that spool to keep it from going any further. That's the whole key to learning to cast with a bait casting reel. And you can see there, once you get a little bit of experience under your belt, you can really whiz it a long way with very minimal effort. It's an easy process, it's just intimidating, and most people don't really take the time to learn to cast properly, cast accurately. Once you get the process down of the basic bait casting, casting, when to stop the line, you get comfortable with it, you can really start getting some distance. Take you a bucket outside, lay it down on its side on a lazy day that you don't have anything to do, and just practice your casting and the accuracy and trying to get it down inside that bucket or in a same general area because there's a lot of techniques that we're going to eventually cover on Learn to Catch Catfish that are going to require some pinpoint accuracy with your casting. Until next time, Chad Ferguson Learn to catch catfish.com. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Thank you. Oh, I caught a parking lot fish. <laughs>